Okay. So, but the idea of the talk is to discuss to discuss our struggles and um, pros and cons of di different triple stores. Uh, and I think uh, Wolfgang for organizing this also, um, because I think it's something that we can learn from each other and sort of um, pinpoint what could be the best options and why do you use a triple store or a large big store. Um, and uh, yeah, so maybe we can start by someone. Antgar? Yeah, so I'm working in the area of um, consulting and uh, so the, the, the content is business transformation projects. And as a matter of fact, 80% of these projects fail. And uh, so the, the reason is misalignment across business and IT. Mm -hmm. And and we think that uh, so there are some, some key factors to improve this. and. Uh, so the first is uh, to clarify the, the change process, then uh, to, to share the knowledge among all parties and to collaborate. And so we think that semantic technology is the right thing to enable these, these key factors. And um, so to, to support this, uh, we, so we created or we, we, or we are starting to create a digital tool that, uh, that has some, um, some explorative UI for business people. And that's is on top of a triple store. So we, we tested Lacegraph and Virtuoso. And we use Semantic Media Wiki as, uh, as a staging to yeah, to create and to maintain the ontology and to 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 uh, to create the content which we load then into the triple store and the business users can can use. So that's that's the background and therefore, <laughs> so we like to have a good combination of semantic media wiki and uh, a triple store and uh, yeah, to to um, to be successful with this uh, approach. Were you able to document how you uh, achieved to get this working? Because one of the reasons I was um, asking for this panel was that it's uh, there are different levels of difficulty on getting things running. So personally, I had a hard time to get the Blaze Graph infrastructure running, uh, which I'd love to use, but I've been struggling with that since 2018 and never made it to work. So as I understand, you finally got it working. Yeah, I got the triple store to work. So actually, all the triple stores because they they promote this, and uh, uh, so the triple store is working. And uh, what is working as well, so I can I can load, uh, um, I can rebuild the database or use the triple store as a semantic media wiki semantic store and and rebuild the database into the triple store. So that works. Did, you do, 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 yeah. did you have to modify anything or, or when that does, does this work out of the box? Yeah, finally, the documentation is corrected. <clears throat> so there were some issues with uh, uh, so the current documentation and uh, the, the proof points are for yeah for quite old versions of Blazegraph and Virtuoso. And so, so the supporting people said, OK, uh, it's too much work to uh, to install the new uh, versions of uh, or the, the current versions of um, the triple stores and to test it. So um, yeah, so the only thing that is working is, as I said, the rebuild and uh, um, yeah, get as, at least get all the semantic data from semantic media wiki into the triple store. And there are some differences as well in uh, so maybe we have later so the the, the quality of the transfer is not the same. So as so for example, for Blaze Graph, I couldn't export sub objects. And I think there was there were as well problems with external data. So if we, so we heard this, this uh, today, the, the story of loading or from Andre loading ontology into the semantic media wiki. And I think that's a very, really important uh, feature. And so actually, we did this as well. 
and uh, but obviously there are some some issues as well exporting this data again to the triple store so that's my my short <laughs> feedback <laughs> So who's next? Maybe Lex? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I'd like to, um, you know, maybe I, I was slightly misunderstood because I don't use a non-standard uh, backend for Semantic Media Wiki. What I do is I replicate all semantic data in Neo4j. Uh, Neo4j is a labeled property graph. Yesterday, we we're talking about the difference between triple stores and labeled property graphs. And it's got a <coughs> Neo semantics extension that allows to um, draw inferences and everything. And the reason why I do this is because I wanna, uh, I draw facts about entities from many sources. So I wanna integrate that. And remember uh, a year ago, we concluded that the, the semantic web's triple A, which is anyone can say anything about anything, we extended it to a quadruple A, which adds the anywhere. So anyone can say anything about anything anywhere. Uh, so I'm sorry, um, but I found myself on the announcement, so I thought I'd join, but I, I don't have any experience with uh, different backends for Semantic Media Wiki since I'm replicating everything into a Neo4j. But if at the end of this session you are interested in having a little bit of a, an impression on Neo4j, I can uh, disclose that, of course. Yeah, I think it's a valid viewpoint, and that's why I thought it would still be good to have you on the panel. Um, and one of the things I'd be interested in is, did you do that like really triple by triple so that any triple you have got in the Semantic Media Wiki shows up in your Neo4j or do you just filter things and, and do this by certain queries? Um, no, I have, there's two ways to uh, add data to my Neo4j <coughs> storage. One is an extension I built that um, acts on all CRUD actions per page. Um, and then just, you know, we use browse by subject, category, all page. I mean, I think it's list all pages category and list all pages namespaces. Uh, and of course the ask, um, the ask query, all oh, these are all API calls. So I'm just using the API to act, to actually pull data into Neo4j or I use the extension with the hooks to push it into Neo4j. So it's completely independent, you know, it's, it's just subject, predicate, object, that's it. Yeah, but that's good because uh, um, if you look into the invitation for this, uh, one way to get to the triples is actually using the SQL store and, and using the relational database. And one of the first things I did a couple of years ago was, was simply creating a relational view where you can say, give me all the triples. Exactly. And that's one of the ways where you can actually get to the triples. So obviously the problem is not so much to go get to the triples uh, for people who know how to do it, and probably we have to promote that a lot more and say, hey, here are triples behind this. This is not only uh, like ask queries, you can really work with this in a different way. Um, and then you can do something with it. And along the lines, what you said, um, I, I, I can share a project here uh, that I did a couple of um, months ago uh, where I looked into two other uh, graph database uh, approaches, which would be your dgraph and your vv8. Um, DGraph is out there as a competitor for graph databases. VV8, for my personally, is, is even more interesting uh, be, because it's got a, um, a contextionary in this. And, and all these ideas are coming up, and that's why I thought it might be good to talk about, hey, how do we do this? So I see that um, our guest is, Laurent, is showing, coming in and out all the time. Hopefully, you'll be able uh, to say something in a, in a while. Uh, Andre and Jerome, I, th I think you are the ones that didn't uh, get into the basic start mm -hmm. of this mm -hmm. session. Yeah, so I can go on. Um, so the, my experience is mostly with working with uh, Fuseki, which is part of the Apache Gina project. And my experience was that it was quite actually easy to configure, to use, to install, and to configure Semantic Media Wiki to start writing triples onto it. Uh, Performance-wise, not too sure about it, um, and also need to still make some tests uh, with these reasoners, which is something that I haven't got into, uh, but it's one of the main reasons that we will want to use a triple store is that you can start to reason on the data. So if something would have, um, say, property has a range person, you know that anything 
get this as a value of this property, then it can be inferred to be a person. It doesn't need to be declared. Um, <clears throat> and I think it's quite a good, has quite an interesting interface, uh, although it doesn't serve as your public um, uh, Sparkle interface. I mean, you can use uh, Fuseki's uh, admin in interface to run Sparkle queries, but then you need to have a separate interface that talks to the um, Sparkle endpoint. But uh, so far, so good. And I think that the community is quite active and uh, interesting. And the Seaborn seems to do a great job. Um, so yeah, that's my... my but are you, are, you, are you using as well... Uh, so, so it updates when you change something on your, on your semantic media wiki immediately? Uh, not quite immediately. Or more not or less, right but at least it, it's, it comes over to the triple store. Yeah. I think and, so. And you have you used ask queries as well on the SMW? Yes. So the ask queries, what I've learned in the past months is that when you, for instance, you use the ask interface and then you um, debug, uh, so, so have the, the, the what normally would be um, SQL query, then you see the full uh, Sparkle query, sort of how it is semantic media which is translating the ask query to a Sparkle query. But so then, from, mean, yeah, go ahead. So that, so that means all, all um, the promised functions work with Fuseki. Yes, yeah. I think so. But one, one little point, and this might be a small detail, that I hit upon is that, for instance, if I want to uh, disable the um, case sensitivity on like uh, some string um, query, um, the Sparkle query in the end doesn't react to that setting of Semantic Media Wiki, and it will do everything uh, case sensitive. And I wish there was a possibility to actually manipulate the Sparkle query or have the option to, rather than using an ask, have the Sparkle query embedded because essentially this is what Semantic Media Wiki is doing. It's translating one to the other. But um, yeah. yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think. Go ahead. I think that's one, of the, that's one of the obstacles we've been having uh, all the time. Like uh, when I started using Semantic Media Wiki 2013, 2015, it took me about a couple of months before I had did my first ask query because I didn't even know the syntax and there was that there was such a thing. Um, and that was a, a very bad experience for me, given that before that um, I had learned lots of query languages that I was using before, like SQL and whatnot. Um, there are query languages out there, and there has been a decision to put Semantic Media Wiki on its own query language, which is not very flexible. It's it's, it's not doing all the stuff, and uh, the maintenance of that is is not really the, the great stuff. And we are putting up with this now for years, and only a few people, like if you go into the um, poll again, so at this point we've got 15 votes for the standard, three for Lex Elasticsearch, one for Virtuoso, two for Jena, two for Blaze Graph, and one for Azul. So you can see the majority of, of the users in this as a semantic media wiki world just stick with the standard, which is a pity. And, and I'd, I'd love to see that promoted to say, hey, we can do better than that, and we can improve on that. Jaron, what do you think? You, you, you are here for, for the future for, hey, let's use Wikibase or something, which is an improvement. What do you think? Can we improve? Uh, yeah, I don't think uh, people should necessarily use uh, uh, Sparkle Store uh, unless they have some use case for it, since at the moment it's a bit of a pain to set this up and it's not as well supported. Uh, that said, better support is nice, of course, but uh, somebody needs to work on that. Mm -hmm. um, also, I think you mentioned that the ask language is a bit difficult to learn. Uh, better documentation there would definitely work. So I also hear you that um, using standards is nice. Um, and then on the topic of Wikibase, um, yeah, I, I think it really depends on what your use case is. Um, for most people that are using Semantic Minarchy or have been doing so historically, I think Semantic Minarchy is still the right tool uh, because Wikibase, it, it has a bunch of limitations that typically don't work for these use cases. And also the data model is more complex and so on. And if you don't need this, uh, you shouldn't use it. Yeah. 
Uh, and uh, one question, Jeroen, in the semantic Wikibase extension, the query, so the ask queries are querying the Sparkle endpoint of Wikibase? Uh, no. no. So uh, what happens is that basically uh, when you add it to Wikibase, semantic media wiki is used as uh, an, an additional data source. So, mm -hmm. and from the semantic media wiki perspective, when you save a page and it has wiki text on it with uh, setting properties, this gets saved into the semantic media wiki database, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what semantic media wiki looks at when you are doing a query or you're browsing somewhere or whatever. And what the semantic wiki base extension does, it basically does the same thing when you save a wiki base item. Yeah. There, there is no wiki text, you have a bunch of JSON, but yeah, it's the same process. So rather than parsing this wiki text, it looks at the JSON and uh, stores the appropriate things into the database. And since it's using these standard mechanisms, this will also work with uh, Sparkle stores on the semantic main wiki side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and just to go back a bit to the comment also on ask queries, I think this is a great way for the people that are starting to learn about semantic technology this is a great introduction. So Semantic Media Wiki and its query language is actually a much more smooth entrance into this world rather than say a Sparkle query or most of the other query language out there. So I think that's a bit, quite a value there. Maybe more yeah, flexibility, a, more options, yeah. But um, no, definitely that's that's a very good point. And I, I, I really uh, I came into the semantic world as well via exactly why I just pass and step by step and uh, so I think that's that's a good a good um, yeah, step in between uh, maybe we should go on to Laurent which is having difficulty in connection connecting can you hear me now I think, yeah that's perfect oh yes we do and uh, we, 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 we... We like it that you're here now. And this is still the process of everybody saying where we come from. So we didn't really start the, the full discussion yet. It's just the start, which viewpoints do we gather? And we definitely want to hear yours. Um, yes. Uh, you mean where, where, uh, how I got to, I got to use uh, the, the triple stores with uh, uh, Semantic Media Wiki? Yeah, it's basically you're invited because you, you also are not using yeah. the standard backend, as I understand. And there's probably a reason for it, and you've got experience with it, and that's why. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, well, I, I've been using uh, for, um, um, Semantic Media Wiki for many years now, since 2008, and um, uh, over time, the um, the number of use cases that I've had uh, has grown, and uh, I've had more and more data to to handle, including merging uh, data in the wiki from data uh, outside of it, and having to do more and more complex queries. And I found that the uh, the, the ask query, uh, although it's a, it's a very nice uh, uh, entry uh, entry point, um, doesn't have the full uh, uh, expressiveness of uh, of a Sparkle query. If you want, if you want to uh, very, very complicated qu uh, queries in there. So it was natural to, to try um, the, the triple store to have better, uh, uh, better, better uh, query mechanism. Um, so I've been uh, basically I've been using a semantic media wiki as a, uh, as a, a, a nice uh, I was saying a human human friendly um, uh, RDF publishing uh, uh, platform. So um, uh, it was it's it's very good to be able to have both the um, the simplification of having the forms and the, the templates uh, on one end to help people capture those those annotations, but also being able to to generate the um, the triples uh, that you can uh, you can merge and, and query with uh, with uh, other mechanism. And uh, one last thing is that when I say merge, we, we try different platforms, different um, 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 uh, triple source, and we settled on uh, uh, Virtuoso uh, because uh, it is a quad store. It allows you to have multiple graphs uh, in, inside the same the same space, and um, since uh, some of the data that I have uh, uh, can can have can can be very um, 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 voluminous, um, um, the sort of uh, of things that I don't have to maintain in the wiki, I can just maintain uh, on the side with its, their own RDF, put them in a different graphs, 
and then merge the, the result with the wiki content uh, when I want to do queries. So for example, if I have to do um, um, uh, geographic annotations, um, I don't have to capture the full uh, list of every country with their country code and uh, different synonyms and all of that. Um, I can just capture what I need to use for, uh, for the forms. But if I need additional information, I can import that as, it, uh, as its own RDF uh, in, in its own uh, graph and then merge that when, when I query it. Yeah, that might... so that's where I, came from, where I came from for that. <laughs> that. That might be one of the advantages also of triple stores because not all the information needs to be inside semantic media wiki. And yet, either maybe a different graph or maybe the same graph, maybe we'll get in trouble for doing that. But then with a simple, say, Sparkle construct, then you can start to join uh, several graphs together. And uh, that makes it quite, yeah. And uh, the other thing too is we, we have multiple wikis. Uh, we have uh, uh, we are doing a lot of things around the, uh, capturing inf infrastructure uh, information. So I have one wiki uh, dedicated for um, uh, data so databases, data, data, data repositories and uh, cataloging them. I have a wiki about a more general purpose um, uh, concept and uh, having multiple wikis uh, each going to their own graphs uh, in in the same uh, mm -hmm. uh, virtuoso instance gives me the, 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 the ability to query across the wikis uh, in in in, uh, in a single uh, single spot. Yeah, that's really convenient. Um, maybe uh, since we all kind of talked a bit, there's a question by Ingo, uh, and maybe we could also uh, talk up discuss the bottlenecks and the issues that we really encountered and like are stuck there or got stuck there. What what do you think? Sounds like a good idea. What using triple stores? Okay. So okay, so Ingo is asking um to if you considered using the RDF IO extension. The dog yes, it says yes. Uh as an alternative to a triple store. I've tried this as well, and um, but I think the, the back end is, is is not developed anymore. So it wasn't really a, a pass that um, yeah that would serve in the future. So therefore, I, I moved to go to Ozo as well. So I, I would love to hear what Danny has to say about that. He he, he was at, at least there yesterday, and I don't know, I have not, don't know whether we've seen him today. He's one of the developers of that extension, and the question was what the original motiv motivation was and um, why it is. It looks a bit abandoned at this time. But but uh, the where it goes to. So for me, the main question for this panel is where do we want to be? I mean, uh, now we discussed a lot, hey, this is the state of affairs. And it's 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 um, one of the things that I felt was when I visited the um, Semantic Media Wiki conferences in the past few years, that I would always meet some people who would do great things with their wiki using Sparkle backends and whatnot. Um, and uh, it looked like there were like a minor few just a few people in the room were using that approach and all the others were not. And that's one of, of, of the troublesome questions I have. If, do we have too many options? Should we go for a new standard or uh, is the current situation of, hey, you can choose from all these uh, Swiss army knife options and then none of them really works properly, the bad approach? I think it's, uh, it's it should be pluggable and uh, uh, components or uh, then people select the components they they prefer for whatever reason for so there are maybe different reasons people prefer one of one of these backends so and I think the, the from a, from a technical point of view these these uh, these triple stores they uh, so they are prepared to 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 be to to, uh, to be called from anywhere so that shouldn't be a shouldn't be an issue to maintain this. 
Mm, yeah, I, I agree. I think probably it would work if 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 if, if the channeling to the backends would would be uh, in a way that that is well maintained and everybody understands mm -hmm. it and. Uh, and and the documentation is up to date and so on. Um, what what I feel fear is that the devil is in the details. So even if a triple store has a different date yeah. format and doesn't expect the triples to show in a certain ISO, I don't know, or doesn't get the time zone right, or what Andre said that uh, up and low case is not considered correctly. Those small details. Yeah, there can should be, be a, maybe a, we should create a list of. Uh semantics that we that come from from smw and then uh, uh, see how how they end up in the triple store and, and find out so what is working and what is not working to but really a complete list of of all or of many use cases which right now doesn't exist obviously mm -hmm. so for, for the ones like Laurent and Jerome and, and Lex, I'd be interested. What, what workarounds did, did you have to do? Did, did things work straightforward, or do you have like these data conversions that you, in the end, still have to do before you end up in in, in your final storage system? That's the question for me. Um, no, yes, it's, yes. Uh, I just get the uh, what I get from the ask query or the browse by subject, and that's it. Well, I actually uh -huh. do you use all. You use all standard data types, or do you use a limited? No, set? I use the the, the standard um, data types. No, no, it's very simple. And then you know, because the pages that go into my Neo4j instances is not what I return on search. Uh, this is what I call a resource. So one page represents one resource, uh, which is not necessarily what you want as an individual search result. So I entitize. Uh, a page, maybe, if if uh, if necessary or or feasible. Uh, for example, I split it into sections, and then obviously an individual attachment could be an individual search result. So all the intelligence, the data massaging, is between um, Neo4j and Elasticsearch. So that's why from the wiki to Neo4j is without it's just a a pipe. That's it. Yeah, I had I had to do some. So minor workarounds, uh, just to make uh, some some queries uh, uh, easier to uh, to formulate. Um, uh, for example, if uh, um, if I have relationship to different pages and I use the the, the page uh, type uh, uh, um, in in a property, uh, I sometimes I have to create a, a similar property uh, uh, in in a text format with just the the page name uh, as a, as a text, so that I can. Uh, simply query uh, on a literal value uh, of a text instead of having to deal with the the full path name uh, that is stored with the uh, with with the page name. Mm. So um, that that's pretty much the only workaround that I've had to deal with so far uh, to 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 make, to make that uh, easier to handle. And more complicated so things like um, uh, record type uh, property or sub objects. Which have something that is not very natural to to triple stores. Um, yeah, I stay away. I stay away from some objects. I prefer okay. to when I when I have uh, multiple uh, uh, properties like that. To um, typically, I try to to go to the uh, uh, reification route and create uh, a full a template and category and and, and pages uh, for those relationships. And manage them uh, as as full uh, full object and not uh, and not sub object. I, I very rarely use sub object. Yeah. Sub object. I find that very very difficult to handle in in that case. Yeah. But that's uh, I can, I can add. Yeah. Sorry. Go on. Can I just very quickly uh, regarding sub object and reification? Uh, I make heavy use of this, uh, especially for annotating properties themselves. Hello? someone? No, just very quickly, um, the fact that Neo4j is a labeled property graph and not a triple store makes it super easy to actually annotate uh, nodes and relationships with uh, what we get out of sub-objects and record Someone 
Präsentation auch da lassen. Also wir sind alle Session. Not me. This online conference was really nice and informative. I know what it was. The speaker corner in another tab from you. Oh, okay. I'm very sorry. I was very confused because it was German and definitely wasn't coming from behind me. <laughs> but, <coughs> yeah, I mean, that was the beginning. Uh, Alex, you have, you're using Neo4j as a backend? You have a connector? No. As I said, I'm replicating the data into Neo4j and from there I feed it to Elasticsearch. So the, okay. the wiki, it's, it's a one way because all my, my faceting is done from Neo4j and Elasticsearch. The wiki, I use the wiki only for an editing uh, platform and, and rapid prototyping. So if you need a, a rapid facet based on an ask query, um, then that's, I, I do that within me, uh, Semantic Media Wiki, but the, the everyday corporate use is actually uh, through a search engine. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm using the Forj too, but from the from the RDF. Okay. Uh, I publish from the wiki to the RDF, and from RDF, I export to to Elasticsearch or to Neo 4 j based on what. Exactly. I do. do you use the Neo Semantics extension? Not yet, Neo but uh, I'd like to at some point. That's amazing, and also yeah. the APOC. Just as a as a side remark, look at the APOC, A P O C. Yeah, yeah. I don't know it. Okay. There was a question from uh, Bernard on using Elasticsearch uh, for better search. At the same time, they're using Blaze Graph for Sparkle. Can uh, Semantic Media Wiki use both? Where do I start? <laughs> any any experience with this? With using uh... I use I use Elasticsearch uh, in in mine uh, using the uh, uh, series search and uh, um, there's an extension. Uh, uh, to use Elasticsearch as the, the search backend uh, of the wiki. Um, it's, uh, it's still hairy to, to, to install and, and configure properly. Uh, you have some version issues and you have to dig uh, through uh, support discussions to, to find the right, the right settings. It's very, very buried. Uh, but uh, it, once you get it uh, uh, configured, it works really well. And um, I haven't used the, the default search in MediaWiki in, in years. But that's parallel to the to the, the to the to the RDF, uh, RDF store. Okay. Um, hmm. So, any more thoughts or like complications, hard time, and or maybe the proposal that Wolfgang was talking about, having um, trying to sort of join a bit more the efforts, um, and what can we do to sort of not all have to use the same triple store, but maybe maybe try to organize a bit more the Semantic Media Wiki communities interested in triple stores. And um... well, I, I think uh, so one more thing for the user. So um, so if you deal with, with changing um, uh, combinations of objects, uh, and, and so in my case, it's different, different business meanings uh, and different contexts all the time. So then, then the the, um, the way of of using um, SMW templates is not enough for the user. So, so we need something more more flexible, some kind of uh, uh, it's called knowledge lenses or something where I can uh, select and deselect what what context I would see uh, as a user at for a specific purpose. Mm -hmm. And then, so so in in Sparkle you can run through your your full knowledge base and then you can you can create your your desired uh, in, in SMW we would call it template that, that displays the 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 business objects you like to you like to work on or you like to explore. And I think that's uh, that's something that is possible in the triple store but uh, the the way of of explorative search or working with SMW is for yeah, for this purpose is not enough. <clears throat> and what's the alternative in your case? 
yeah, as I said, so it's some some kind of uh, of declarative lenses that that I can put into the triple store, and maybe even created by by uh, by some Sparkle uh, queries. Mm. So they they they, they uh, so I, I I load additional triples, so that maybe similar to what Laurent was saying, and uh, and then these these additional triples somehow can control the, the user interface and can control the way uh, I'm working with the data. So it's, 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 it's using the RDF to, to create additional structures. Um, I've got one question for Joran. If, if we um, want to um, like continue this after this panel session, what, what would be the, the um, the channels that we use would we go by issues or would you would we have to improve the discuss uh, the um, documentation or would we have to go to some of the extensions what would be like a, a channel where we could channel the, the the needs for the back end is there is there a category in the wiki or so, something uh, if you want to continue the conversation and uh, see what people want here uh, there's the telegram channel there is also uh, a chat on elements uh, so you can talk to fellow semantic media or you keep people there. Um, and yeah, you can post feature requests on the issue tracker. Um, so of course, if you post yeah. a feature request for something really complicated, um, don't expect that somebody is just going to take it up and uh, do all of the work, right? If, yeah, that's what you always say that, that that we might also need some funding or something. So, and and that's something like um, Andrea and I we are currently working on a research project, um, and in that context, there there are sometimes resources where you can do things like that, um, and sometimes people from like like Lex or something put something in in the public domain. And obviously, the conference that we are having right now is a good place to exchange all these results. And, and, and in the end, we end up with a better situation than we have been in before. So that, that's what I love about this panel, that uh, people will know about, hey, these things exist, and um, you can talk about this, and there are people interested in this. And if you keep uh, communicating about it, there are chances that eventually something will happen, given there is uh, some energy and funding behind it. Yeah, but just the documentation of already these experiences in the semantic media wiki wiki um, would be, I think, a great help. I mean, the pages that are there, they're pretty good already, a good starting point, but I think we can easily do a little bit better. And um, yeah, so, so that's great. Okay. Thank you. Our <laughs> official time has been up like 10 minutes ago, so I'm happy that we spent much more than half an hour. Uh, and probably uh, at least the people who are from, from uh, this side of the ocean uh, will be happy to, to have their, uh, to finish up the day. For me, for instance, um, I'm, I'm watching the Borussia Mönchengladbach game while, we, while we're at it. It's 3-0 at this time. And my wife will love uh, to, uh, that I'll join her for, for the second half time. Um, well, but thank you for following my invitation. Um, I like this a lot. And uh, I hope that the people that have been uh, visiting us and listening and, and asking questions um, also had some benefit from what we're doing. So um, you have a good evening. Yeah, and have a good tomorrow. evening, everyone. Yeah, thank, you. thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much. And if somebody wants to join us in the beer pub, uh, everybody is highly welcome. Otherwise, we will see each other tomorrow. Thank you very much for your time and your contributions. Thank you.